Hi, it's John from Jim's Mowing. I'm just going to talk about vegetable patches. So this one here is a raised vegetable box, which we can build quite easily. Anyone at Jim, one of your Jim's guys can build this for you. This has a few benefits. One is you can always put them in the ground, but you've got to bend over. This one here, it's sort of more at that comfortable height where you can work, so you're not putting too much stress on your back. You know, you can even sit here and do your vegetable garden this way. Nice raised vegetable box is great. It's a feature of the backyard. And the other good thing about growing vegetables is, A, savings on cost of living, but B, you want your kids to eat vegetables, this is it. Come out here, get them to grow vegetables with you. They will eat them. I know my son from a two-year-old, we grew tomatoes. He would come out and eat the green tomatoes. He couldn't wait. So he loves vegetables. He's now 25, but he loves his veggies. And it all started with us growing vegetables together as small as a, when he was a small child. So here in this vegetable box, we've got radishes. We've got carrots coming up that have been grown from seed. We've got leeks some more carrots and over here we're getting this ready for our tomatoes we could probably squeeze in about eight tomato plants six would be good gives them plenty of space but eight will be great we're a bit tight for space but that's okay and then with the, when you're growing tomatoes you can also put basil in between it's a good companion plant that helps with pests the boxes can be built to any size any shape really uh, it's not probably rounds but a rectangular shape to a shape you want and a size you want to fit in your yard. Even in your courtyards. You can put these in a courtyard, build it up, nice little feature. Other good thing about this is, a beautiful day today, what a spot to come out and have a, a cool beverage in the afternoon, water the garden, have a look, play with the dog, talk to the kids. Oh, we've done a lot of rectangles like this. We've done some a little bit higher for the older customers so they don't have to bend over as much. Yeah, it's not that expensive. The most expensive part about the vegetable box will be the timber. And once you've got it up and going, this will last for ages. So the timber's probably the most expensive bit. The building them's not too bad. Filling them with soils, yeah, it's not a big cost there. So, and then you've got this, this will probably last 10, 15 years. So it's not a big cost if you go back, if you calculate it out over that period of time. Those, if we put eight tomatoes, eight tomato plants in here, we'll probably have tomatoes going from early January, depending on the varieties you grow, right through until mid-March. So you're not buying tomatoes at all. You've got constantly beautiful, fresh tomatoes for your salads. And let me tell you, there is nothing like a homegrown tomato. They a complete different flavour. You don't really need to use chemicals. So you get a few bugs. You can use some organics or you can come out and squash the bugs with your hands. Just use an engineering, which is your fingers. Squash the bugs. So you're controlling what's on there. You've got nice organic vegetables.